Welcome back to Crafted Entrepreneur. Today's going to be a solo episode. We're going to talk about something that might make you squirm a little. It might make you feel a little bit like a hypocrite, but I promise you, if you stay through the entire episode, it's going to be absolutely worth it and it's going to help you make more money. But first, before we get into it, I want to remind you that I have a new book out. It's called, What Do You Really Want? Seven Questions to Unlock the Answers to True Meaning, Connection, and Abundance. So of course, I wrote a book all on getting what you want. That's been my anthem ever since I started this podcast back in 2018. And you guys could pick up a copy of this book anywhere where books are sold, Or you can go directly to my website at craftedoffer.com and you'll see we have a bunch of goodies for you if you buy the book from us, okay? And if you've already bought the book and you want to get those goodies, go to craftedoffer.com and put in some information and you'll also receive the goodies, okay? So I'm so thankful because the book has been going so well and that's because of all of you that are listening in right now. If I've ever done anything to change your life, um, you were a part of this movement of getting people to do what they really, really want, helping me get that book deal. So thank you, thank you, thank you. If you haven't picked up your copy, what are you still doing? Go right now, get your copy, then come back and listen to this episode. Okay. We're going to talk about people today (laughs) and not in a gossipy way, okay? We're going to talk about the fact that a lot of you are not where you want to be right now because you don't know how to work with people. So people are people. People around you are not you. This is common sense. We know this. But why do we always expect people to react the way that we would to something. And I'm going to tell you a personal story that I've been experiencing lately around this. And I had to talk to a friend of mine and she said, Kayla, the greatest setup in life is hoping people will react the way that you do. I want you to think about that right now. A lot of your suffering that you are going through in your life or that you have gone through is a direct result because You were upset or you were hurt because somebody didn't react the way that you wanted them to. And so in order to grow and reach your business potential, you really have to set people up for success in your life. And in order to do that, you've got to release expectations. And if you have expectations for people, you need to clearly communicate those expectations so they are followed And then there can be repercussions if people don't follow through on that. And I'm talking about with employees, contractors that you have, or maybe even potentially friendships in your life. I read this quote that said, um, things end awkwardly if you don't have the awkward conversation in the beginning. I recently partnered in business where we are doing a 50-50 profit share with somebody. And we had to have a whole bunch of awkward conversations to get this operating agreement for the LLC set up. We had to talk about how do we want to break up? If we, if it ain't working out, how are we going to dissolve this whole entire thing? What's that going to look like? That's not a conversation that feels good when you're starting a business and you're so excited about something, but you got to have those awkward conversations. So everybody's understands expectations. You got to really learn what you expect of people. And in order to understand what you want from people, you got to understand who you are, what matters to you. And I go through this in so much depth in my book. Remember, what do you really want? You can get it at craftedoffer.com right now. Remember, you get a free course where I go through my self-coaching method inside of this book. But you got to understand who you are and what actually matters to you. And for me, I know I have my priorities, you know, that are very important. God, Chase, my kids, and then, you know, I have my friendships, and then I have business after that. Like business is down here at the bottom. It's not really at the bottom, but it's not high up. When if you would have asked me what my priorities were five years ago, business was number one. Nothing else mattered. I would bulldoze all over you. If <laughs> if you weren't for me, you were against me, baby. You didn't want to know me five years ago, okay? 
Uh, even though for those of you guys that did know me five or six years ago and you're still listening to this, like you are an OG. I love you. You've, you've seen the ev evolution of Kayla. But you guys, I have learned, okay, acting that way with those types of priorities doesn't make me happy. And when I put God first, everything else seems to fall into place. And I understand what type of people I want in my life, what type of people I want to do business with. And my heart posture is always coming from a place of zero expectations unless they have been clearly stated. I'm not going to be hurt by you if I didn't set the expectation for you. And a lot of us, we're walking around expecting 100% effort from every single person in our life when we didn't clearly communicate that to everybody around us. And so we walk around bitter and annoyed and enraged because we're not getting our way and people aren't us. Who would have thunk? People aren't us. So what I want you to do right now is spend some time understanding what it is that you want in certain relationships in your life. So I'm going to give you an example with an employee. So recently I had, this is probably like maybe a year ago, so it's not recently, <laughs> but it still feels real, like real close to the art. But recently I realized, okay, I have a role here and, you know, here's the job description and it's been laid out perfectly for her. Does she understand exactly what her role is? So we had a performance review. And in that performance review, I kind of went over all of the job description and I rated her. And I also had her rate herself. I said, how do you think you're doing in these areas? She thought she was passing with flying colors and I basically failed her in nine out of 10 areas. And she was like blown away. And it was a really awkward conversation to have. Like honestly, it was a very awkward conversation to have. But she decided to go, okay, you know what? I'm gonna take ownership that you're not happy in nine of these areas what can I do to make it better? And we made a plan. We set the expectation together that we were going to meet in another 90 days. We were going to review these 10 areas again. And the expectation was, hey, I need you to be hitting five out of 10 of these. I'm not expecting 100% turnaround, okay? But I want, I want you to hit five out of 10 of these in 90 days. If not, this isn't going to work out anymore, right? Very awkward to tell somebody that when their livelihood comes from you. But it's necessary because everybody's happier when they're doing a good job. Just period. So we meet again 90 days later. She surpassed. She did very well. She worked really hard to move forward in those areas. But still, remember, we had some other things we need to work on. So then we set another goal for her. Hey, these are my expectations and set it out very clearly. It's like you're, you got to spoon feed the information of exactly what you want. If you're particular like I am. A lot of us entrepreneurs are. We're very particular and we demand excellence from people in our lives. You got to state it clearly. So stated it clearly. Did she pass it in the next 90 days? She did. She was only off on one area and we're continuing to work through on that because I don't expect perfection from humans. But the expectations have been set that I need you to hit, you know, nine out of 10 of these out of the park. And she's doing well. But I wanted to give you that little insider review because what happened before, all right? I have had so many people work for me. <laughs> and what happened in the past is I just expected people to know how to do their job. Well, don't people know how to respond to an email? Don't people know what to do to my IG? Shouldn't she know? It's common sense how to do these things. And I found out after multiple people quit the same role, like, hey, <laughs> Uh, the common denominator in these relationships is you, Kayla, and you need to start working on you and getting better at your heart posture and how you're, you know, really setting people up for success. And so I had to get very clear on the expectations and not expect people to know how to do their job. You've got to teach them how to do their job, how to do their job, just like our kids in our life. We have to teach them how to be amazing human beings. Some of it comes innately. Some of them are, you know, they have a heart to love people and to share with people and to be kind. But let's be honest, most of our kids, if we just let them figure it out when they were very young, uh, there would have been a lot more fights, a lot more screaming, and my kids would probably hate each other right now. But I have made an effort to teach them how to treat their brother and their sister 
with love and compassion and grace, okay? We set the expectation of that type of relationship inside of our home. So I want you to remember people are people. People are not you. And the greatest setup is expecting people to be like you. So the moment you just accept the fact that people have different experiences, people were modeled different things in how to respond to crisis and how to respond to an email. Everybody has a different way of doing things. The moment you accept that and you decide, hey, I want this person in my life. This thing that they're doing doesn't work for me. So I'm going to have the awkward conversation with them about seeing if they would be willing to change their behavior or their action to meet my standards. And if you're not willing to have that awkward conversation with somebody, then are you even worthy of a relationship with them? Because relationships that really are great, that really are deep and meaningful in your life, they're going to involve awkward conversations because it involves two people actually being real with each other. And you're not going to love each other 100% of the time. So you have to learn how to work with each other and love each other well. So I hope you loved this episode. I hope that you use some of these ideas and perspectives to have a better team around you, to have better relationships and friendships in your life. Thanks for listening in.